Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way From Down Under and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 up and coming free to play first person shooters for 2015 and 2016. Let's go and start it off in no particular order with Combat Arms Line of Sight. Line of Sight is the sequel to the original Combat Arms and it's basically improved on the game in every single way. The graphics are just fantastic for a free to play first person shooter. It's running off Unreal Engine 3 and it's directly linked towards how the game actually plays out in terms of how the guns go and shoot and how your character goes and moves. It feels a lot more lifelike than a lot of the free to play first person shooters out there. Line of Sight goes and features a really in-depth customization system along with a lot of modes and maps. This game will be coming out next year, link in the description below for the main website. The second game for today is a game called Lawbreakers. There is a lot of hype surrounding it because it's made by Boss Key Studios with one notable personality behind the helm and that's good old Cliffy B who's gone and made a lot of really notable games, especially like Gears of War. The Gears of War series is one of his most notable. So with a lot of experience behind this team, this game is extremely futuristic and it features a class system that's based less around getting kill streaks, but rather going and working towards an objective, trying to go and work as a team in order to go and win the game. So this is a game that's not meant for just an absolute murder spree. It's meant to be working together, and there's a lot of really different types of characters you can go and play up on these really nicely detailed maps. It has by far the best graphics of this list, and if you want a game that has AAA graphics and will probably have a AAA experience, then Lord Breakers is the game for you. There is no mo no mention of open beta dates and whatnot, so we'll have to wait till probably next year before any information goes and comes out. One game that I am super, super hyped for is Sudden Attack 2. It's a sequel to the original Sudden Attack, which was a cult classic in the free-to-play first-person shooter community. The sequel looks like a completely revamped version with the first thing being the fantastic graphics really up there with the generic Korean first person shooters. But one thing they really want to go and highlight the developers is the fact that the game is supposed to be fun. It's not something that you have to go and take seriously 100% of the time. You can just go and hop in the game and spray down some enemies and see the corpses of your enemies go and fly 100 meters backwards. And that is a really, really satisfying feeling when you're going and playing a first person shooter. But they go and back it up as well. It's got customization. You can go and change around all the stuff of your guns. It's got a lot of modes, it's got a lot of maps, and it's Seems like it's going to be a really solid first person shooter, really with the aim to go and hone and make the best game possible for this military genre. No idea when closed betas are going to come out and whatnot, so make sure you go and keep an eye on my channel, I'll go and give as much information when it goes and comes out. Another really big AAA free to play first person shooter is called Overwatch. It's made by the guys at Blizzard who you know go and make games like World of Warcraft and Hearthstone and whatnot. So this is their first venture really into the first person shooter market and they are taking a lot of influence from Team Fortress 2. You can see in the graphics and how the way the game goes and plays out. It's a very heavy objective game with a lot of different classes which have their own weaknesses and they have their own strengths. You can't go and try to 1vA, you tr can't go and just solo the enemy team, it doesn't work like that. Some people good at carrying but you need support, some people good at supporting but you can't carry, you know that type of formula but a lot of really good objective based games go and pull off. But saying that, it also does have that really cool animated graphic style and it's something that we really don't go and see in a lot of games. A lot of games go and just dismiss it as really cartoony and easy to play but this is by far the opposite. It's cartoony, yes in a sense, but also it's got a really big tactical element and definitely this is going to be a really big esports staple in the near future. Again, like the majority of these other first person shooters, we've got really no idea when the closed beta may be, but Blizzard has said it will be sometime next year. The last game that I want to go and include on this list is called Phantomers. Now, Phantomers is a free to play first person shooter that hasn't been making too much traction in the community just because it's made by a relatively small studio and it really doesn't have too many outstanding or impressive features. The budget of the game is not too big. 
the studio is small, but it does include a lot of people that worked on the original War, War, War Rock, which is a really big cult classic like Sudden Attack in the free-to-play first-person shooter community. The game's graphics don't look too impressive. The gameplay doesn't look too impressive. But what this game really is meant to be is just a solid first-person shooter. If you want to go and just download and have some fun with your friends, and I believe that that is what Phantom is, is supposed to be, and I believe that Phantom is, is going to go and deliver on that type of gameplay. When you just go and hop in, you just have some fun, and you don't really care about the, if it has a competitive nature. You just go and you shoot some people, and that is really old to it. There has been a closed beta phase, but at the moment, there really isn't too much news on when the next one is going to be. But again, this game, you know, even though it isn't the best, it's by far the least hype for the four of the five I'm talking about. It's still looking like a really cool game to go and play. So hopefully you guys went and enjoyed this list. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under.